Hey, you've tuned into TC McCarthy. Well, they've done it. They've invented smart 40 millimeter grenades. <laughs> Basically, you take a 40 millimeter gra grenade, slap it into your launcher, fire, and then that thing can travel for up to six miles on a rotating propeller. It's basically a drone, finds its target, detonates, your target's gone. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey, you've tuned into TC McCarthy. Thanks for watching this video. Listen, as if the battlefield wasn't scary enough, some military genius has finally developed a drone that you can fire and it can fly up to six miles, find its target and detonate, or loiter over a, close, a closer target and wait for specific conditions to detonate. Different kinds of rounds are gonna be available, non-lethal, uh, high explosive, etc. Basically, what we're looking at here is a, a near future science fiction weapon, if not one that's already gonna be fielded today. It's, it'll be out there within the next few years, I'm sure. So the thing looks like an oversized bullet, basically, and it can fly for, for essentially 12 minutes. Or if you just fire the thing and want it to hover, it can fly for 20 minutes. So it doesn't have a big flight time, but 12 to 20 minutes is long enough for the kinds of scenarios we're going to be discussing here. Now the thing, the name isn't very imaginative, but it's called Drone 40. Uh, the thing can be used in several different scenarios. Let's say you want to lay down smoke in a specific pattern at a specific time. Well, you can fire these things off. They'll hover in the locations they're supposed to, and then boom, detonate at the time, at the prearranged time so that you get a nice clear smoke screen and can do your maneuvering. Or maybe they have an anti-vehicle payload, or multiple ones have anti-vehicle payloads. They fly, look using shape recognition and target, target recognition software, attach themselves to the particular vehicle that you want to target, and then boom. Or what if they can navigate their way through an open hatch in a tank and then detonate? Wouldn't that be interesting? And so along those lines, although we're not at that point now, it's not hard to imagine a future where basically some sort of uh, processors are included in these weapons and the thing basically, maybe it can follow a trail of pheromones or can detect little pieces of DNA associated with a particular individual, kind of follow that thing upstream and track its target until finally it gets a lock via facial recognition or something, flies in, boom. All of a sudden, you've got a targeted smart assassination weapon, and you don't have to get anywhere near your target. You can fire this thing right now from six miles away with advances in materials and battery technology. Maybe one day we'll increase that to 12 or 15 miles. And you can combine these different kinds of payloads. You can put, I don't know, tear gas rounds with high explosive rounds, with smoke rounds, and basically create all sorts of confusion behind the lines if you're attacking an enemy force that's an overwhelming in its strength and numbers. Imagine dropping a whole swarm of these things out of something like a B-52. <laughs> How many of them could a B-52 carry, right? I mean, it, unbelievable numbers. And then the really scary thing is these things always find themselves find their way out into the marketplace. So it's not like this is going to be a US only weapon. It's developed right now, I think, by an Australian company. Who else is going to get their hands on this technology? And what happens when our guys start facing these things on the battlefield? A 40 millimeter drone is a small target. These things fly at 45 miles an hour. Good luck on detecting it as these things are coming in. So I'm worried. I'm worried about this one. It's a killer drone for sure. Cool concept. Great to think about for my science fiction stories. What do you think? Leave me comments below on what you think of this technology. And don't forget, I am still running my book giveaway. Stay tuned for the trailer at the end of this video for instructions on how to play. End transmission. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click the subscribe button. And then if you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon because that will let you know when I put up new content. You'll get an automatic notification so that you can say, oh, TC McCarthy put up a new video. I better go ahead and watch it. Also, I'm running a contest. I did a video of it pew, right here, explaining what the rules are and why I'm doing it. But basically, it's not even a contest. It's a giveaway. Why aren't you entering? Go ahead, take a look at that video, enter the contest, and get a book for free. This is free stuff. You don't have to pay for it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you soon.